Welcome back to Pisces TV with Montana B. This is I love reading Pisces <laughs> for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, wherever Pisces may fall in your chart or Venus, okay? As we get started with the reading, check the description box for all of the information you may need about the channel, products and services, courses, coaching, the works. There's also uh, my email address, website, and e-store. If you're interested in the extended to this video, it will be made available through our member section. So if you'd like to join us on the other side, there's a link to Patreon below also and here on YouTube. We have a member section, the merchandise and the community board, which is like my favorite. I just stay on it all day. So check out the community board before you leave. And if you feel pulled to do so, hit the subscription button and notification bell. Make sure to select all notifications if you don't want to miss anything. Many, many videos have been uploaded. We're doing horoscope, astrology, tarot, coaching, stuff. Okay, so this is about love. Could be singles, couples, or just stuff that you love because Venus is doing something amazing in Capricorn right now. So if you are dealing with a person or may have Venus in Capricorn, it just talks about commitment and stability as far as love. And so some of you guys may even be interested in how to attract the object or person that you desire and Venus and Capricorn can help us do that so we will get into that discussion as well all right if you are dealing with a man with Venus and Capricorn he may be interested in well sorry if you're dealing with a dominant person that has Venus and Capricorn they may too want a powerful partner but also be attracted to beauty as well as like age so Venus and Capricorn people may date up how about that? So we're going to get into the astrology of it. But I know those of you that are new to the channel, it's like, wait a minute. I came for tarot. So we will save that for the extended. Um, let's go ahead and get the card shuffled and see what the energy is. Romance, love, rebuilding. Okay, we got the four of wands. The four of wands is about rebuilding after tarot moments. So Venus and Capricorn is also about splurging on yourself. So bubble baths, you know, getting something new, whatever it takes, just it's like self-love. So after whatever tower, tower moments may have happened in your life, in your relationship or collectively, because we talked about on the 16th, go back to the 16th in the videos. We talked about the tower card and potential tower moments. We've been talking about that all week because the moon is doing some stuff and Saturn and Uranus and Pluto is doing some stuff. So rebuilding thank you venus venus thank you for that and like i said for a lot of you it may have something to do with you all right it also talks about things that may have not been fair because we have things that were moving along perfectly that may have been shaken up things that needed to be shaken up kind of being crumbled so that you can rebuild and then for others of you look at that, the moon there may not have even been like a situation per se. It could have been your energy. So I think this is a strong emphasis on like Venus moon, Pisces moon or your moon sign. It's kind of like allowing you to heal certain things. You know, old wounds, old memories may have come up. A little bit of sadness or sluggishness It may not have affected all of us the same. But the moon is doing some stuff. Okay. And I can't stress that enough. And here it is. Um, at the at the you know in the challenging aspect now all of my star seeds you know things could trigger you things that may not have been healed or because Capricorn talks about growing up maturing and stuff like that so any kind of like petty squabbles or things that happen these are perfect times to kind of like be higher self right and so the moon is like I'm gonna shed a little bit of light not too much right because the sun moving into aquarius joining mercury with this retrograde the moon is kind of like and i think the moon was in aries yesterday so what is it in today i don't know we'll have to check but there's a lot of push and pull because notice that in this four of wands they are by the water the moon controls the tides and so this could affect relationships okay outcome or advice okay or what you need to know here we have the Page of Cups. Now, the Page of Cups came up yesterday in your yes-no reading. We also have Temperance that talks about calm. Now, I feel in the what you need to know, the Page of Cups is the inner child. 
the page of cups is fantasy and daydream it also talks about being in love with love so for me that's that energy of venus and capricorn self-love loving love without the attached memories without the attached feelings of things that no longer serve us okay temperance is at the bottom of the deck the next card out is the ace of swords so something may be realized something could have you know come to the surface <laughs> for better or for worse and then here's the ace of swords which either could be a new way of thinking setting healthy boundaries or the answer that you seek right the four of wands talks about engagements and events so it's like these things are faded that could be happening and for some of you what we talked about the new chapter of love in your life that is what you need to keep on your mind the page of cups does represent a new love okay and the ace of swords could represent communication all right or the queen of cups kind of graduating from the past especially if we kind of lived in fantasy land and the moon in fantasy land it's like baby that tower probably shook up a lot you know what i mean but what i do like is crowning your thoughts we have the lovers gemini north node making this this also um implements and i go back to the daily vibe if you hadn't watched it already um i'll pull up the astrology reports like i said for those of you that are interested but gemini north node is doing something today so in the daily vibe we discussed that it may be beneficial to you especially next to this ace of swords i absolutely love it and then moving forward it kind of talks about not resisting right even though we're rebuilding don't resist um a trigger may be coming up for some or still healing from triggers for some but we're going to get into the lovers uh looks like decisions blocks okay blocks okay there may have there may be some blocks i'm sorry there may be some blocks for those of you that wonder like when is my love life going to change so we could talk about that unfinished business and choices all right so if this is where we leave off definitely appreciate you pisces for tuning in and some of you capricorn uh if this is you know others of you i'll see you on the other side and if this is where we leave off namaste